Let's build an online art gallery website that includes a little bit of parallax animation, some horizontal scrolling, cool colors, typography, and maybe even a little bit of video integration inside of Adobe XD. You ready? Let's get artsy fartsy. All right, so we have our file open and there is really nothing on this file at all. There's a really boring header, a little bit of typography and some spots for some artwork. And on my desktop, I have a few things. I have a bunch of cool modern art gallery images. Um, and I also have, I think one video clip. Oh, maybe two video clips. One's like, uh, like kind of a pull from an art documentary. And the other is a rotating texture that I think I have a pretty cool idea of how I'm gonna use. But for now, let's focus on the typography that we have here. Actually, let's drag an image in because it's hard to imagine an art gallery being this bland, this boring. So I'm gonna grab that image in Adobe XD. You just drag it over the rectangle and boom, it's gonna go ahead and mask it inside. It's already looking a little bit better, isn't it? If you are interested in getting a hold of this file, just consider becoming one of my members. My members get premium access to monthly video hangouts as well as design files and access to a Discord server where you can chat with me a little bit more and get some mentorship. And all you have to do to become a member is head over to my website, learn.jessyshowalter.com. Hit join now and you'll get access to this member's resource where you get this file and all the other files as well. Uh, our typography choices today are going to be, what do we have here? Montserrat and we have Playfair Display. I'm really trying to do just nice, serif font, nice sans serif font, pair them together, get some different size variances and some contrast here. Um, I've done that with the header and why don't we just take our header and in the top corner here in my layers panel, I'm just gonna lock it. You can also hit Command L or Control L depending on your operating system. And uh, I'm gonna grab this text. This is a fake art studio that I've just invented out of nowhere called Studio Brightside. Uh, why don't we take Montserrat and move it up to uh, like size black we'll make it really big like this and i'll have it say studio bright side but that just takes up just so much like kind of visual weight from the design we don't want that so let's do this instead let's do a border around it and we'll pull the um like the fill out of it that looks a little bit cooler and i think what we want to do today is create a scrolling kind of like horizontal scrolling gallery. So I wanna be able to scroll lots of pieces of art, but first I wanna have pieces of art. I wanna be able to hover over them and get some sort of kind of cool modern art kind of hover effect. That's what we're really going for, all right? So why don't we do that? Uh, to do that, I'm gonna just duplicate by holding down option, dragging out another version of this, and I'm gonna fill it with black. And why don't we just bring the opacity of it down? You know, like pure black, that's boring. Let's be a little bit more fun. Let's play with like some tones of blue, like a very cool black in there like that. Okay, cool. And I'm thinking I'd like to hover over this and have something appear and then just wiggle its way out. Okay, I like that. And then let's put like uh, like some sort of call to action, like view uh, artwork. Okay, something like that there. And then let's do a similar thing. Let's go big and bold. So I'm gonna pop that up and go from light up to bold. Let's do the outline version. And then let's make the outline of that white. You can't really see it now, but when we pull it on top, I'm just holding down command and using my bracket key um, to move layers around like this. And that looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's make the size of the border. Ooh, let's do, you know, you can do decimals here, 1.5. That should give us just a little bit more without being super duper insane, okay? So I'm thinking let's line this sucker up, this piece of typography up um right there in the middle let's center align the text and use our alignment tools that looks pretty good and then why don't we uh i'm gonna grab this whole thing and i'm gonna group those together and i'm gonna call this the hover panel like so and then i'm gonna move it up and uh then i'm gonna grab the the words there and i'm gonna move the words up a few. I just did 20 pixels up, 20 pixels left by holding down shift and hitting my arrows. That's kind of nudge it by a value of 10. And then we'll take this hover panel and bring the opacity of it down. I like that. I'm gonna grab that and my art panel and I'm going to command K, turn that into a component. Now, uh, we have an immediate default component state that's been created here, right? So we can see up at the top, we have a default state. And if we wanna create another state, all we have to do is press that little plus button 
And we have a couple options to just bake in a hover state right into the interaction. So let's hit hover state, call it hover state. And now we have to style that hover state, right? So we can come in here and grab our hover panel, bring the opacity up and just go down one, two, that's 20 or 10, 20. Same thing here, 10, 20. And now we have the two states, default and hover. And if I press play on my preview, I should get a nice kind of fun hover state that's happening there. So that's pretty cool. You can play with it however you want, but that works for me for now. I like it. Let's do the artist name. Let's say it's, uh, maybe the artist name is me. It's not, but I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, Jesse Showalter. Uh, let's call this Monroe in color. Okay, something like that. That's the name of our piece of work there. And uh, that's good. Why don't we grab these and group those together and we'll grab, ooh, let's grab all of these and we'll group those together. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab all of my art here in this art row and this headline over here. I want the whole thing to scroll at one time. This is one way of doing it. We can create some horizontal scrolling. So I'm just gonna grab all of them, group it together, and I'm gonna hit my little horizontal scrolling tab here. Not vertical, not vertical and horizontal, but just horizontal. Now I should be able to kind of go back and forth between them like that, which is pretty cool. You can also grab and drag. So there's actual drag gestures if this goes on to mobile and I can hover over these elements, which is pretty nice. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Now, another way to do it is we could take that horizontal scroll off and we could set up a little parallax motion here. But before we do, why don't we have a little bit of fun with some video and we'll just embed a little bit of that inside. So I'm gonna draw out a rectangle. I'm gonna take my border off and I'm going to Drop it, actually, let's bring it to the front for now. And I have that video texture here. Let's just grab that texture and drag our MP4 video. It's been cut and edited to only be about, I don't know, like two seconds or something like that. And we'll drag that inside, okay? Now you can see if I am to select this, it's masked the group, you can see. We can go inside and we can grab that texture video and we have some video options. We want it to play automatically. Let's open it up, we want it to loop. And you can actually kind of, see the video it's just going to repeat through this texture which is kind of it's going to be kind of cool effect i think so let's just test that really quickly press play and we should get this looping repetitive kind of texture now it's really in your face so why don't we bring it all the way to the back and then bring the opacity of it down just a little bit we're just adding a little bit of fun modern flair there so now we can press play and see our prototype and we can still hover over things. The video is playing, it's looping, it starts automatically, which is pretty cool. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is add a little parallax animation. So what I'd like to do is just bring another version of this over to the side, and I'm gonna bring my video, or excuse me, I'm gonna kind of like just drag a little bit. We'll do a drag gesture, but when we do that, we want maybe less, or we could do more movement out of our, um, out of our main headline that's down here, right? Let's do one more and we will go all the way over to the edge there and, ooh, and now my title will go all the way over to the edge. That could be kind of fun. And we'll do multiple kind of like prototypes as we wire this thing up, okay? Now, I want a little bit of space. I already know because that my headline's are really long. So I'm gonna kind of space these out vertically make some space for myself. I'm gonna go over to the prototype tab, just like this. And I'm gonna grab this whole thing here, this whole uh, artwork row, and I'm gonna drag and kind of wire it up to my next screen. And I'm gonna say auto animate. But what's our trigger? Not tap, on drag. I want you to auto animate over there. Don't give me any easing. I wanna control the actual easing there, okay? Now let's do the same thing. All right, last thing to do is just test it out. I'm gonna press play and bring my prototype up. My video immediately starts cooking. My hover animations, they work, they look pretty sweet. And now I can actually grab and drag and we get a parallax effect between the artwork here and the uh, headline that's down below. I can also use my keypad to press left on the keyboard or right. And we're still getting some of that 
animation, which is pretty cool. And hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of design tutorials, in Figma, Adobe XD, sometimes Sketch as well. So make sure you give that thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon so you know when another video like this one comes out. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things. Hope you're jumping outside of your comfort zone, using some cool features, and challenging yourself to be a little bit more artsy-fartsy. We'll see you in the next one.